Unfortunately, we have to fight again. Which I really hate. There's three enemies this time. They're not too strong, I believe, but they can be really annoying to destroy. Stupid switching between targets that it's doing, it's just doesn't seem to work very well. The enemy ship has sustained major damage. Well oh, it's if he sustained major damage, then we can probably or not. No, I can't lock him anymore. Just shoot! What the hell is he doing? Got him. Disengage tactical maneuver. <sighs> I really hate this. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, we're just flying around randomly. What on earth is going on here? Better off taking manual control. Set this as a widespread again. That's so useless. The 
Look how many torpedoes I'm wasting on this thing. He's barely taking any damage. Mr. Wolf, you have tactical. Let's see if Captain, Wolf can do. Uh, I am honored. Well, Locking weapons. Target him. Hopeless. this so much is so boring so pointless what are we doing we're just sitting here Finally! Lucky shot. Mr. Data, check the ship's computer for any possible identification of these aliens. We have no record of contact prior to these attacks. There have been rumors of a war between the Romulans and an unknown race on the other side of Romulan space. Perhaps these are the same aliens. Perhaps. I already said that. I want to know why we had so little warning before the alien vessels attack. Because they have a chameleon field. We did not detect them on our sensors until they were already within visual range. Did they have a cloaking device? During the battle, our sensors registered emissions similar to those of the alien probe that attacked Merton's stations and the planetary shield protecting Phrygis. A chameleon field? That appears to be the case. Perhaps these aliens were also responsible for the attack on Merton's station. The chameleon field is an ancient Chodak technology. These aliens might have borrowed it from them. Or they could be the Chodak. Mr. Data, plot the course of the alien vessels based on their attacks in this sector. The pattern of their attacks would indicate that they are headed for the Zatarnus Nebula. Then it appears that the Romulans aren't the only race seeking the Unity device. That's what it appears like, yes. Uh, let's just save here, and I want to go to... Primary core access enabled. A starbase. Systems online. I think... Yeah. Engage. That's how you do it. No idea how far away this is. A hundred light years. <laughs> okay. I will see if I have correlated the ancient Chodak star chart with our own astrogation charts. Does it reveal the location of the Unity device? I can find no mention of the device. However, the chart does contain the planet Alanor. If Alanor was the administrative center of the Chodak Empire, isn't there a chance some trace of the Chodak remain, even today? That sounds like a long shot. It might be the only one we've got, number one. Where is Alanor? The planet is located inside the neutral zone. I don't think we need to worry about the treaty at this point. Still, we must use caution. There is a provision of the treaty which allows for scientific research. We'll use that as a cover for our mission. Mr. Wolf, inform Starfleet. Aye, sir. Lay in a course for Alanor, warp 5. No, I want to go to Starbase. Maybe the other Starbase Primary is closer. Core access enabled. Systems online. Engage. Not particularly. Primary core access enabled. Systems online. I 
more DS station? I have no, no idea if those are actually useful. Engage. We'll just go here. It's the closest right now. Let's speed up a little bit. Not sure what our maximum warp. Ah, no! Warp engines unable to sustain current speed. Reducing speed to maximum warp. Engage. And we'll continue with that in the next video.